ドラキュラモーフィーキャットバンパイアナイト VTuber キンケイリン・テーリン・ウスム・トロン・ファイブズ・ゴー・ポン・デ・デッド・オフ・エス・ファーダー。Well, he's also dead now. <laughs> ah, your eyes finally opened. Mother shall be pleased. Huh? I remember you, the girl from the wilds. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten. And we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. Yeah, you are welcome, apparently. by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? I remember being overwhelmed by the dark spawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The dark spawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. My friend? You mean Alistair? The suspicious dim witted one who was with you before. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. What about Alistair? Is he alright? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. I have some questions, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Are we safe here? Where are the Darkspawn? We are safe, for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. How did she manage to rescue us exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Why did your mother save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Coin is imported to you out here? Who says I would ransom for coin? Gold has its uses, I suppose, but power buys far more. Mm -hmm. Aren't there any survivors besides Only us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Why, what's happening? Are you sure you want me to describe it? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't. I had a good view of the battlefield. Tis a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere, and Darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. Why did Terran Logan abandon the king? I do not know who this Logan even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. I think I've asked enough questions. I agree. This time you speak with mother, then be on your way. All right. Ooh. Studded leather gloves. A key is required. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, Morgan. She. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm, f I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? The Flemeth? From the legends? <gasps> Whoa! Daveth was right. Whoa! You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? 
I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? If you're Flemeth, you must be very old and powerful. Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is... was... our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later. In the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? The land is hardly united, thanks to Loghain. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Will you help us fight this Blight, Flemeth? Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of Blights and Darkspawn. Well, yeah, I'll believe that. Whatever Loghain's <laughs> I'll believe that when pigs fly. Darkspawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If our Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. You think the Arl would believe us over the Terran? I suppose. Our Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. And say he doesn't help us, what then? You have more at your disposal than merely old friends. Of course! The treaties! Great of wardens course. Who demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Now, it'll be as easy as that. <laughs> and when is it ever? It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. <laughs> I'd be happy with just staying alive. Hmm. Come to think of it, that would be nice. <laughs> well, don't expect me to do everything. <laughs> what was that there snort? Is, however, <laughs> one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> what? You me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well. We'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man. Illegal mages. I have left you on that Sounds tower. point mm. taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I understand and you wardens do you understand i give you that which i value above all oh, you value world. morgan i do this because you must succeed she won't come to harm with us yeah. allow me to get my things hey, hey. if you please 
Yeah. Hello, Momoko. I hope you're doing good. Your disposal, hello, hello. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. No, I prefer you speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Oh, get over yourself, Alistair. If you worry that I will <laughs> summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you... Oh, you have a headache? Uh, until I hope you feel clean. better soon. I feel better Momoko. already. Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? Was she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not? It is what you meant, yes? I'm just wondering her age. She would no more tell me than you, I assure you. Have you never been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Tell me about this village to the north. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Sir. Any reason to go to Lothering then? I mention it for its tavern, where travelers gather with news from other places. It is small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, it is close, and I know the way. How are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. I don't sense any dark spawn. You won't right away. No. It takes time. My you drink? Thank my you for the hydrate, Dr. Momoko. Don't tell me you forgot my drink! You should also drink, oh, Momoko. Drink! You should also drink to get rid of the, of the headache. Dark spawn are camped farther in the they forest? Come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. What skills do you have exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Never mind him, you don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's Child Rabbit from here on out. I have no more Farewell, questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Let's go! Okay, um, hmm, we got strength, okay, strength, dexterity, constitution. Okay, let's skip this for now.
Okay, Morgan. Uh, you got some clothes on you that we could use. Wait. Uh. Eh. There we go. Okay. Now what can Morgan? Jason the defense. I don't think Morgan needs that. Apprentice Cal. Ugh. <laughs> that looks crazy. Enchanter's footing. Yes. Uh, gather your party and venture forth. Let's head to the camp first. <laughs> we got party storage, we got the ancient treaties, we got mm, runes, I guess. Uh ha ha. Hmm. Hey, hello Alistair. What do you need? Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. That doesn't mean I don't mourn his loss. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. He had you? I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. He saved your life by sending you to the yes. tower. I know. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Dwarves don't practice cremation, do they? How do your people honor your dead? We entombed our dead within the stone beneath our thighs. I heard about that, now that I think about it. Their spirits return to the rock, strengthening the foundation of the tide. It sounds so strange. Maybe. Maybe so. Duncan's one of your people, however, not ours. No stranger than burning your honored dead to ashes. I suppose you're right. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Anytime, Alistair. Hell yeah. Da -da 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 -da. How about you, Morgan? What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Is Flemeth really what she seems to be? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? An old woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is certainly old. Have no mistake of that. Tell me. How much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chastens still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience. I've heard... I didn't even know there was such a thing. Ah, I see. That does explain much. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. Oh, that sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men. The desire of any who saw her. Just how long ago is this? Many centuries. Before this land was even named Ferelden. Ooh. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osen the Bard. 
and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conovar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that t'was Osun who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osun and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osun agreed. Seems like a fair deal. Aye, it was. T'was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement in the first place. <laughs> oh my god. Well <laughs> I was making a joke, but Conobar yes. Conobar kept his end of the bargain. Mm. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osun was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. She spoke to she spoke she spoke to spirits or demons. Spirits first, and twas they who slew Conobar. Flemeth did not turn to the demon until much later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Even my people have heard of Cormac. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner, and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came. But mother claims not to know how it began. Do you believe her version? I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Oft it seems her bitterness has colored her memories. But on the whole, yes, I believe this tale, if not all. How is it that Flemeth has survived for so long? The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other, were it lucky enough to find her. Aren't abominations usually insane horrors? How often is this usually? Always? If not always, then when is it not true? There are more things in this world and the next than you or I could ever hope to understand. What Flemeth became is a mystery. I suspect even to her. The legend tells of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters. I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. Why would she refuse to speak of them? The Chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. An interesting story. Thank you. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. My mother is a useless drunk, if you must know. <laughs> ah, ah, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. All right. Thank you for talking to me, you two. Let us head out. Ah, you both. Time to head to Lothering. Eh? Oh? Eh? Ah.
Dinarim. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must supplies. What was lost supplies. Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who I hope you're feeling better, Momoko. We can state if we let them. We must defeat this dark spawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your lordship, if I might speak. Yes. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Ooh. Ooh. Getting better eventually once I get up. Good. Maybe you got a headache after... Ooh, the doggo! If you got a headache after recording that audio. <laughs> the doggo's here! <laughs> Good dog. Good dog. Oh, there's some... Here we go. Ah! Oh! Uh oh, this is bad. Ah! Oh, we're together, we're together, we're together. Ah! Ah! He wags his tail happily in pants. I think this is the Mabari I helped cure back at Ostagar. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. He's not mangy. I've always wanted a dog like this. Maybe it's meant to be. Please enter a name for the dog. Merrick. Oh, nothing like a brush with death to make you not like death much. We won. We did. Yay! We... All right. Yay! Yay! What do you need? Ask away. What can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. So Templars use magic themselves? You could call it that, sure. The 
The Chantry doesn't look on it the same way, however, since really our talents only work on mages. Against a regular person, I'm just a guy in a metal suit. So couldn't others learn the talents? Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. Oh. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. That's horrible. I can't believe they would do that. Well, they do it, and they feel perfectly justified. You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective, or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. Yeah. Giving the Templars to crack cocaine. Not me. Is he a dog? He's not mangy. Hello, Merrick. I'm a pet Merrick. Okay. What do you wish of me? If you must. How did you become a shapeshift? Uh, have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> You are very cute to ask so many questions. And you're cute when you're evasive. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful <laughs> they generally He's right there next to us. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Really had no trouble with him? I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Truly more would have followed. Sometimes. Eventually. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. You still think that was fun? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? You're probably right. <laughs> an enlightened view, or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk, let us return to the task at hand. Okay. Let's go, guys. Let's head to our destination. Gather your party and venture forth. We've made it. Oh. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. Led by a dwarf, oddly enough. The fuck do you mean by that? Uh, they don't look much like their mother. Oddly. Either. Maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. 
You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. I tell you, no wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still gotta pay. Your dumb friend is dumb. Forget it, I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your dark spawn fighting, king killing ways. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. Don't say. He is really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. Not enough, I'm afraid. And just when we had things settled. Time for more practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. We go. Uh. All right, we surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. This shoddy operation is pathetic. I could do better. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. And over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. And start running and don't come back. Bless you. The dark spawn can have this place. Whew. All right. Any more of them around? No? Oh, good. A fallen knight. Note for Sir Henry. Huh. All right. We made it to Lothering. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So, you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. You have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just... Thinking. No wonder it took so long then. Jeez. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. We should try and use these treaties, I, I assume. Agree. Have you looked at them? Yeah, I have. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. What do you think we should do, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. 
Why are you leaving it up to well, me? I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Aliman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. We need to find these I can people. I give you directions, if you like. I've been exiled from Orzammar. I can't go back there. You're going to have to. I certainly wouldn't want to go there alone. Why? Would it frighten you? Are you afraid of dark and sunken places? Hmm? I mean, we won't have any choice. You'll be there under Grey Warden business, and the dwarves will just have to see reason. They certainly are renowned for an abundance of reason, tis true. Where will we find the Dalish Elves? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. And where do we find Arl Eamon? He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. What about the Circle of Magi? That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. And where would Logain be? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Okay, I don't need any more plan. directions. Not sure any of this is a good idea. I'm not sure I like any of it either, but we don't have a lot of choice in the matter. Of course you have a choice. You could run and forget about it all. Let the Darkspawn do as they wish until other Grey Wardens come. If they come. That's what you call a choice? It may not be a good choice, but it's a choice nevertheless. We all choose our path, even when it seems there is only one direction we should go. How enlightening. At any rate, I'll stay with you whatever you decide. I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. All right, in the village we are. Hmm. Two, 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 two. Ooh, we got some elf root here. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. Stop looking at me. I can't believe the Kunari in that cage isn't dead yet. It's been three weeks. Why do you Why keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell what's, what's wrong? He's just a nice dog. I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. Aww. And he persists. Maddening. <laughs> With a happy bark, too. We don't see many dwarves in these parts. You here to trade? Not every dwarf is a merchant, you know. Yeah, and my aunt Than is an Orlesian chevalier. You working with a fella by the bridge? There's a dwarf by the bridge? Not a dwarf, a merchant. Gouging folks by charging a fortune for the basics. They shouldn't have come here with nothing, I guess. I have some questions. I promise I'm going to answer them. Were those bandits always outside well, the village? You mean they're gone? I'll take that as a thank you. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Who's in charge of this village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. You don't have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. What's going on here? What isn't? We've got chastened barbarians in every farmhold south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. I should go. Don't let me stop you. Oh, fuck that guy. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. What do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. 
The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Are you keeping me from going in? I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. Anyone in charge here? has marched north with Tern Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Hmm. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. Fuck off. We were lucky. We had a coin to pay the toll to those bandits. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Huh. What made you think that? Who are you? Greetings, Sir Dwarf. Your folk are famous for their generosity. Might you spare some bread? What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? I met those bandits and drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Hmm. That's nice. Ooh, there's a dog here. What the dog doing? Have you seen my mother? <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> it depends. Who's your mother? She's really tall. And she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some main men with swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could. So I did. She said she'd be right behind me. But I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. You know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. I don't think she's coming, child. Why not? Why would she leave me here? The mean men killed her. But, no, she can't be dead. I'll find her. Oh. Whoops. Well, maybe I shouldn't have been so upfront. A few knights have come through here searching for something with the artifact. Yes, let us run Not errands for the betterment of mankind as well as a few coppers. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Uh, greetings? <laughs> Smile back. Let all repeat the <laughs> chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devon's. What's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. It's like a vow of silence then? He can't talk normally? Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Nor. Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. <laughs> Maker's a righteous ass, anything to say to that? A chanter says what? What? Oh, you got him to speak! Ha! <laughs> what hath man sinned? <laughs> oh, he cheated. I got you. Have anything of interest on the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Bandits. Bandits everywhere. Okay. Let's do that. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. Back off. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. 
Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, oh so there. warm. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Get rid of the tiny part and I'll consider it. <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, business? Straight, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Can you beat that offer, sister? <laughs> you want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. What do I do if I help you? We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. And it's time for you to go, isn't it? You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man. Absolutely. Off you go. <laughs> You exactly what you deserve. A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? And a discount? Right. Fair enough. But only you. This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby... Thank you. Uh, money. Oh, yeah, I need to sell stuff. Okay. Thank you for the nice stuff. All right. Mm, can you do something about this gory mess? <laughs> now we are clean, except for Alistair. What do you need? Ask away. So you said you were raised by the Chantry. Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfels. Ah, uh, dogs. Hmm. Really? That must have been tough for them. Well, they were flying dogs, you see. Surprisingly strict parents, too. And devout Andrastians to boot. And these dogs sold you to the Chantry, oh, I take it. Oh, there you go. Listening <laughs> to me again. You'd think you'd have gotten past that already. I ended up in the Chantry, sure, but I didn't start there. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard, and before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Arleman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. 
But you blamed him then, I take it? I was young and resentful and not very pious. Of course I blamed him. I remember screaming at him like a little child. Well, I was a child, so I doubt he was surprised. Ah Lehman eventually married a young woman from Orlay, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Isle didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. What an awful thing to do to a child. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence, I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Are you sure he isn't your father? Yes, I'm quite sure. At any rate, I don't look anything like him. You'll see for yourself. Not that it stopped the rumors any. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Caelan's uncle. So he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. Anyway... That's really all there is to the story. I wonder if the creature locked up on the highway is involved with this. Is it a dark spawn? There's a creature locked up in the highway? Let's go! I have a wonder, hmm? Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. So very Fall defensive. Bush somewhere and die. Whoa! Whoa, Alistair, whoa! Okay. Uh. Uh. Damn. So I take Master it you Federal did not runs enjoy your Templar heart. training? Oh, that's that's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denerim in my small clothes, I guess. What? Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you <laughs> oh, these two. Who are you? How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chaser would never stoop to petty theft. The you marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! The People here are, are the already desperate and frightened. Vines. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? What about I my food? I said enough. Shock him. Marade starit, marade twasit, a ban akun. You want one of my captors? I have nothing to say that would amuse a dwarf. Leave me in peace. What does me being a dwarf have to do it? You're a prisoner. Who put you here? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Uh, Kunari? If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, 
That's what I would have expected. <laughs> I suggest you leave me to my fate. What did you do to end up in here? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Aren't you interested in seeking that atonement? Will be my atonement. There are other ways to redeem Perhaps. yourself. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? You could help me defend the land against the blight. The blight? Are you a Grey Warden then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Would the revered mother let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. I'll leave you for now. Farewell then. Eaten alive by dark spawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother is so afraid of him. Could we open this? Nope. Maybe Liliana could. Who we are about to meet. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Look what we have here, men. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a dwarf by this very description? Me? Everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. Oh. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Looks like he wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. Right. Let's make this quick. Ha! Let's wipe them out Watch quick. Out! Ooh! Ah! Come on! You've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. I don't want them reporting to Logan. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? He'll pay for what he's done. We're coming for him. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I see. Where does a sister learn to fight like that? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. What does that mean? I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest, not even an initiate. I'm um, Ian, a pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Why so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. Alright, I believe this is where I back away I, slowly. <laughs> I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision more crazy i thought we were all full up look at the people here they are lost in their despair and this darkness this chaos will spread the maker doesn't want this what you do what you are meant to do is the maker's work let me help very well i will not turn away help when it's offered perhaps your skull was cracked worse than mother thought Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Welcome Indeed. to the team, Liliana. Ah! 
have no fighting in my kitchen. Out with you. Allow me. I could do that for you. Great sword. Ooh, a great sword. Move out of the way. You hear about food? Take it up with the. I got other gear to sell. Show me what you've got. Woo! Here we go. Okay. Uh. Great Warden, Great Sword. Liliana? Bust down, Liliana. Bust down. Arrow of Faith. All right, Liliana's ready to to fight. Surveyor. <laughs> You're gonna make more trouble. You've about all we can stand in Lothering now. My, sorry about the mess. They had it coming, and they were troubling up themselves. So, so long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have a full house. I don't suppose you have any rooms? What do you know about the Cage Canary outside the village? That monster killed three families, torn them up like a beast. The cage is too good for him. But it's the Chantry's idea of mercy. Suppose you have any rooms? Look around. People are sleeping on the floors and in the attic. That's how many rooms I don't have. Who were those men I fought exactly? When Tian Logan marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. Yep. I have no qualm with you, whatever that's the me. town says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. What can I get you then? Have you heard any rumors? There's knights from Redcliffe wandering the countryside, looking for the place where Andres Day's sacred ashes are said to lie. Can you believe the urn holding her ashes is a myth? And yet these knights say they were sent to find it anyhow to heal Aureline. I didn't even know he was ill. Maybe he has a blight. If so, then times are even darker for Ferelden than any of us thought. Anything else I can get you? Heard any other rumors? I heard from some travelers that something bad might have happened in Redcliffe, overrun by Darkspawn, maybe. There's no word from the village at all. A merchant friend of mine said he encountered someone fleeing the place and there was nothing waiting for him there but death. He wisely turned around and came right. Anything else I can get you? How about Thank the other Baker, rumors? We didn't lose Tian Logan at Ostagar. He pulled his troops out just in time, so it said. Without him, we'd be... Anything else I can get you? Uh, uh fuck over that last... <laughs> that wasn't even a rumor. Can I get you oh. He was just meat riding Karen Logan. Who is this? As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Who are you? Something I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden. Well, can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a me make... What? What the f what fuck does that mean? Blackstone Irregular Box. Strapping the barrel. 
Ok. I don't even know what these are. <laughs> okay. And I'm off. Did you see the new recruiters out? I think your voice a full refugee. Ah, you see them soldiers run like frightened children. Way to go. I've no idea, but I'm sure not about to raise ha. Oh, Elder Miriam. Minor. Ooh. Give me this chest. I will take your chest. Allow me. I could do that for you. Woo, nice one, Liliana. Could you free our friend here? Please. Allow me. I could do that for you. Allow me. I could do that for you. I'm gonna need your help. And so it is done. Yes. We'll follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Thank you, Stan. Glad to have you with us. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Morgan. Lost and damnation. Yes. Ah! Ah! Okay. Do I have anything for Sten? Ooh, heavy chain mail, yes. Heavy plate armor, massive. Oh, that does not. <laughs> I mean, technically, they, don't, they won't see that, right? The leather boots. Why are we stopping? We're working together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Are you alright? You were in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Why did you offer to help me? For the moment, you are the enemy of my enemy. Dark spawn are your enemy? They have no more allies than a hurricane or an earthquake. They are enemies to all. Never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. no, why not? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy eared people who excel at poverty. A little hostile, aren't we? Many humans have said that to me. I do not understand it. If I were indeed hostile, you would be bleeding. So, this is you being calm and helpful? Couldn't you tell? You? You said you were in the army. I am. Have you ever fought in a war? I have always fought in war, dwarf. So you must know your way around a battlefield then. Some of them. They aren't all alike. You always bad at answer, <laughs> answer questions? I do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. What's your hurry? What a strange language you speak. You say hurry, where I would say duty. Not your duty to handle the blight, though. No, it is yours, and you are chatting with me instead. As you wish. Ah! Only approved. Okay. To where shall we go next? Gossip. I see gossip over there. Why are you here? What do you mean? Women are priests, or merchants, or artisans, or farmers. None of those have any place fighting. I have no idea how to answer this. It is not done. There is no more to it. Mm. 
Do you mean your people have no female mages or warriors? Of course not. Why would our women wish to be men? What are you talking about? They don't wish to be men. They shouldn't. That can only lead to frustration. Oh, there's ten. ten. All right. No, never mind. Let's dro drop this. Jesus, then. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, mm, I'm afraid I can't agree with you there, Stan. Unfortunately, that view is very outdated. Hmm. What do we have over here? Okay. Who's this? Ooh. A lot of refugees here. Okay. Evil. The legions of evil. Evil. On your Hello, Tala Star. How are you? I hope you're doing There's good today. To run. This evil will evil. cover the world like a plague of locusts. Plague. Are scaring the children? Better to slit their throats now oh. than let them suffer. I don't know if I can agree with that. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Nah, I just haven't you showered see yet. The vile blackness that fills him. <sighs> So no, I'm going to shut this madman up. Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watched the black heart descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. It's enough. This ends now. No, do not touch me. You bring evil and destruction. It is the end. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to dinner him. Yeah. Oxman will feast on your living hearts. They will take your children. <sighs> that guy was Maybe noisy. Maybe that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. That blasted chasing. It's good to see you again, Sister Leniana. Thank you, Sir Meron. Did you know there were bandits in the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, so Brian will appreciate that. In charge of the Chantry. Your beard mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Brian heads the Templars stationed here. You heard any news? Not since Terran Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the King. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Goodbye. Make her watch over you. Dwarf. Okay, let's go in. Ba 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 ba. Well, there's word of dark spawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. The Canari, out of its cage. Indeed. Indeed. I would question this, but I have far more pressing matters to deal with. Misstep, creature, and it will be your last. A Canari does not misstep. And who are you then? You can call me Ian. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. 
Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? No, I'm not. Then what might I do for you? About those bandits outside the village. Breath. How many times must we drive them off? One less, I drove them off myself. Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Who keep an eye out for trouble for the right pay? I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. <laughs> the chanter's giving me side quests. Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh, I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Not about to go spouting that I'm a Grey Warden to everyone? Sir Donal. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donal? Is that you? Alistair? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Very nearly, Sir Donal. May I introduce my fellow Grey Warden? We are the last two in Ferelden. As far as I know, terrible news indeed. But I'm glad to meet you, good sir. Might I know your name? You can call me Ian. I trust you are staying discreet with the bounty placed on your heads. The bounty? Tern Logain has declared the Grey Wardens responsible for the loss at Ostagar. He claims he withdrew his men to save them. I don't believe a word of it. But with the Tern offering hard coin for your deaths, you'd be smart to keep your identities secret. If Al Eamon were well, he'd set Logan straight soon. But if Al Eamon is sick, why are you here? Our only hope now is a miracle. Every night of Red I need a miracle. Of I'm ashes. holding out for a miracle. On Draste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Uh, I was hoping to meet Al Eamon, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against Terran Logan. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. You think Loghain is involved with Arl's in illness? The Arl fell ill before the king died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I drove off the bandits to kill Thank him. You. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. So your quest for the ashes brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Thank you. And when the maker spoke. Thank yes. you. He required comfort. If that's an accurate likeness of Andraste. Maybe she was ugly. All right. Maybe she had but I could do that for you. Tea. How will we know? <laughs> Aha, now we have stuff for Sten. Here we go. Light. Sten uniform. Okay. 
Asala. Ooh. The revered mother is gonna be furious. You dare to bring that canary here? Get him out! Out! I sense I am unwanted. Only wish to talk. This is intolerable. Leave at once. <laughs> well, done with that. All right, I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I've, on the next stream, well, next time we play this game on stream, we will be. We will. I don't know. <laughs> We will continue our quest, of course, mm, for my next stream. I don't know if I'll be playing this game or some other game, but thank you once again, everyone. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, lurking, chatting. Stay awesome, guys. And as always, bleh, 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 nya, nya, nya. I'll see you guys on the next stream. Bye-bye.